Sri Amritananda of Devi Puram talks about Chinnamasta as residing in concentrated form at the Agya Chakra, so the point between the eyebrows. Her main activity is in the Shishumna, the central energy channel, where she traverses up and down as its sustaining current of electric energy and power. He goes on to say that her attendants, the charming Varini and the terrifying Dakini, are the currents flowing through the Ida and Pingala. Their collective flow is restricted by the Grantis. These are knots that must be cut by the scissors Chinnamasta holds in her hand. Chinnamasta's mantra, Hum, gives mastery over the senses and annihilates the mind completely. One effective method of sadhana is to imagine a constant downpour of lightning from the high skies and then to submit the whole body, mind and self to it with absolute dedication and surrender. This image of lightning is interesting. You know, like a flash of light, a really strong flash of light and energy zapping you. Even this yantra, the way it's colored, right? The black and the white. So it's like a, a streak of lightning across the dark sky. Also from Sri Amritananda, he says, in the world of phenomena, the interaction of light and sound results in thunder and lightning. Chinnamasta, likewise, is the thunder destroying all anti-divine forces. She is the hidden radiance in the heart of the clouds. Chinnamasta is the indomitable force, the striking power of the Supreme. She is this electric force. Her seat between the eyebrows of the Agya Chakra commands the power of will and vision. These sparks, this power of will and vision. So this vision, this vision that really brings Chinnamasta to be the one that increases your intuition. Intuition, clairvoyancy, vision. These are all the gifts of Chinnamasa. When we get out of our mind, we have access to the intuitive forces. It is said that Chinnamasa manifested as the mother of Parashurama, who was the sixth avatar of Vishnu. So this boy, Parashurama, he had a very angry dad. His father was so angry that, with the wife, the mother, that he asked Parashurama to cut his mother's head off with an axe. He did this and his father was so happy he'd been so obedient that he gave him a boon. He then decided, I would like my mother to come back to life. And this was Chinnamasta. When you get to the center of the yantra, the home of Chinnamasta is the, the bindu, the dot. So we're going to Paint that gold. The bindu is always gold. It's like an attractive focal point. So get your gold paint back. You just re add a little water to it. And then hum. 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 Just access that hum sound. Sometimes you have to do a couple of layers of this gold to really make a nice central dot. Like paint it and then let it dry and then do another little layer on top. The nice thing is that by the center of your yantra your hand is pretty steady. You're pretty ready for the little magnificent Chinnamasta Bindu. May she lead you to your true nature. She's also known for get, giving you mastery over the senses. So I, I bet she's helpful for things like addictions and, you know, tendencies where you have a sense of being compulsive about something. Super helpful, super helpful tapping into your real nature. All right, I wish you lots of luck with your Chinnamasta, and thank you for joining me. Hum.